How do you feel about working in the most visited country in the world? Life will be like your dreams. A passport talent allows you to work in France as employed or self-employed for the long term. It's to bring skilled and highly talented people to France to contribute to the economy. Watch this video till the end to learn all about it. Hey everyone, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and the latest news and updates. First things first, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and download the free cheat sheet my team has prepared from the link in the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest visa news and updates. Now let's begin. First, let's clarify passport talent. What is it and what does it do? A France passport talent card is a France long stay visa. It's for foreigners who wish to enter and stay in France for up to one year and engage in a paid activity. The type of activity is especially in competitive environment such as global talent. Passport talent is a name for a visa. It has nothing to do with a passport or a French passport. The basic validity of passport talent is one year, but you may become eligible to get a residence permit after after four years. Passport talent is given to people who make a significant or lasting contribution with their skills and talent in developing the France, French economy, culture, science, sport and sports directly or indirectly. Passport talent is not for EU nationals. They do not need a visa to work in France. It's only for non-EU nationals. You should also know about the passport talent categories. You fall into one of these categories by profession and the activity you will do in France. The first one is skilled recent graduates. Only young graduates with a master's degree or equivalent or advanced degrees such as a BTS or DUT are eligible for this visa. It's a to have a professional license. People employed by an innovative company also fall under this category. The annual income must be at least 35,500 euros. The second category is highly skilled workers or EU blue card. Only highly skilled workers with a diploma granted after three years of higher education or five years of comparable professional experience are eligible for the EU blue card. You must have an employment contract with a French employer and the least income must be 53,836 euros per year. The third one is employees on assignment with a work contract in France. This is for employees on a mission or who exercise a paid activity and are employed by a company located abroad. The employee must have three months of seniority with the company and the annual income must be at least 31,973 euros. The fourth group is researchers. The researchers with, an, with a master's degree or an equivalent degree can enter France to conduct a research or have a lecture at the university. Remember that researchers must show proof of their status as a researcher and the purpose of their visit. The fifth group is business founders or entrepreneurs. This is for people with a business creation and authorized to carry out commercial activity. They can present a serious project for creating an industrial, commercial or artisanal company in France. The sixth group is for an innovative economic project. This group has an innovative economic project and can prove it with supporting documents. A public body must have recognized the project before you apply for a passport talent visa. The seventh item is economic investor. If you want to invest in a company, the com and the company needs at least 10% of the capital. If you can invest 300,000 euros in France and you can prove it, you could qualify for the talent passport. The eighth group is official agents. You are an agent and want to do legal activity for the company you represent. You need to prove that you have been working with the company for at least three months. You also need to receive a minimum salary of 55,000 euros per month. The ninth group is people who have a global reputation. You have a worldwide reputation with your skills and will be working in France in science, literature, arts, academic, education and sports. The work you will carry out is not less than three months. Also, your salary cannot be less than the minimum amount. The tenth and last group are artists 
writers, performers and singers. If you work as an artist, writer, performer or singer, you can apply for a passport talent. Yet, you must receive at least 1064 euros per month. The point is, you can work as an employed or self-employed person. These were the categories, but people who fall in these categories must be eligible to apply for passport talent. I'll tell you the qualification principles now. As I told you, EU nationals cannot apply for passport talent, and it's only for non-EU nationals. Also, you must have a job offer from a French employer. It's required when you want to work for someone in France. The offer must lead to a contract valid for at least one year. The proposed job must be related to your expertise and you have work experience. Also, the job must be in the company's research and development project. The offered job must pay 1.5 times the minimum salary in France. The next requirement is contribution. Your work must make a significant contribution to the French economy. You need to do it through your skill or expertise. Alright then, how should you apply for it now that you know you're eligible? Here are the stages you have to follow to receive the passport talent. The first step is to determine if you're eligible or not. You have to watch the few minutes I talked about the eligibility and determine whether you're qualified or not. French authorities are strict over visa issuance, rules and regulations. Now you have to gather the supporting documents. They are essential and prove you're qualified to receive the passport talent. As I told you, there are various categories. You have to submit particular supporting documents in each category plus the general support documents. Determine your category and then ask the French embassy or consulate in your home country about the full list of supporting documents. This is a general list of documents you have to prepare. Number one is your passport. Your passport for the passport talent visa may not be older than 10 years ago at the time of application. It must have at least one blank page as well. Being valid for a minimum of one year is a must as well. If you have had other passports, provide a copy of them as well. Number two is personal documents. These are some of the items you have to submit. Your birth certificate, your marriage certificate, your childbirth certificate. If your family accompanies you, you have to submit documents for them and include them in your application. Number three is photo. Provide two identical photos of yourself. They cannot be older than three months ago at the time of application. The size must be passport size too. Number four is proof for the purpose of your visit. You have to provide documents related to your activity in France. It could be your business plan or proof to have enough funds for investment. Number five is a work contract. If you want to work for an employer in France, submit employment contract with the French employer. Your work contract must be for at least three months. As I told you, you must submit documents that prove the purpose of your visit. They must prove you fall into one of the 10 categories I talked about at the beginning of this video. Number 6 is the application form. You must get the application form from the French embassy in your home country. It must be the longest stay form and you have to complete it with your information, then print, date and sign it. Number 7 is an insurance policy. While you are in France, you need insurance to cover your medical expenses. Provide proof that you have bought valid insurance in France and the entire Schengen area. The insurance policy must cover your expenses for at least 30,000 euro. If your employment covers insurance, provide the proof to the French officials. Number eight is proof of address. A gas bill or electricity bill or another form of registered address that proves your registered address in your home country is needed. The last requirement is the work category requirement. Depending on your work category, you need to provide different documents. For instance, if you will be working for a company Company, you need a work contract. In case you want to invest, you need to prove you need proof to have enough funds. The requirements for each category are a bit long and have some details. You can learn more about them from the PDF file my team has prepared. You can get it from the link in the description. After you gather the supporting documents, you have to schedule a meeting with the French embassy or consulate in your home country. You have to find out who is responsible for visa processing. You can schedule the meeting before starting to collect the documents. The decision is with you, but you must have enough time to gather the documents and not to miss your deadline. Get to the embassy or consulate on the booked date and bring all the documents. You'd better get there a bit early as getting to the embassy building could take time due to security reasons. Also, determine if the embassy has instructions or rules to enter it. They are different by your home country. Submit the documents to the officials when you meet them. There is also a fee for visa processing that you have to pay. Ask the embassy how much it costs and how they receive it. You either have to pay by cash, credit card, or transfer the fee to their bank account. There might be an interview with the embassy as well. 
uh, they ask questions about the purpose of your visit. You should prepare answers and gather information about your work in France. If you will start a new business, you must know the, its details and related information. After the meeting ends, you have to wait for visa processing. It takes time until the embassy works on your application and decides whether to issue the visa or not. The processing time is up to a few factors the embassy workload, whether you have submitted a full list of documents, and if the embassy asks for further documents or not. After the decision is made, the embassy informs you of the results. If it's a negative and they reject your application, we will send a letter explaining why. You can work on your application, remove the rejection reasons, and apply again. If the answer is positive, the embassy informs you to take further steps and get the visa label on your passport to enter France. Your passport talent is valid for one year but you can extend it for up to four years if you meet the eligibility principles. After you land in France, you have to validate or register your residence permit with the French Office of Immigration and Integration. You also have to apply for a residence permit to the prefecture in your region. Remember that you have to do it in the first three months of arriving in France. If you have a family and want to bring them to France, you can do it automatically through passport talent. You can bring your spouse, law partner, and children under 18 years old, but you must include your family in your application form. All right then, this was all you must know about France passport talent visa. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. My team at the visa library will answer them. Before you leave, like this video, hit the bell, and don't forget to download the free PDF file that my team has prepared from the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest visa news and updates. Until the next video, thank you all for watching.